meet artist Joseph Amidopo. He is from West Africa and creates paintings full of bright colors, abstract shapes, and designs. Today we are going to create our own painting using lines, shape, and color. Today we're going to focus on line, shapes, and patterns. And what we're going to do is start with a Sharpie marker. I want you to think of two shapes and we're going to make them nice and big on our white paper. So I'm thinking this may be a big diamond and they, they need to be big. And then the other shape, maybe I'll do a crescent shape. Take your time, think about the starting and stopping point of your line, like that. Now, we're gonna do four lines on the corners. They can be curved, bent, or straight. We want them to go from one side to the other. So if I did a curved line, I'd start on this side of the paper and I'd end right there. If I wanted a bent line, starting on one side, ending on the other. Uh, maybe I just have a straight line here. And then maybe I'll do, uh, you see how I did a little air drawing there? A little bent line like that. Once you have that done, I would like you to outline. We're gonna do a double outline on the two shapes we created. So very carefully, I'm going to go following that line Taking your time, starting and stopping. And now I'll go to the crescent. If you find that you reach a line and it's gonna overlap, you can stop that line and go around it. Now I'm gonna break up my backgrounds a little bit if I have too much space. Um, so I can use, break this up just a little bit. We think about my curved and straight lines. I could probably put one more right there. Now using pencil, I'm gonna figure out how to place my name in here. And I'm gonna do lightly until I know how my name fits. You want to use a nickname, you can use a nickname. You want to use your middle name. You can use your middle name too. You can use any kind of font you would like. Try to Face out your letters a little bit. You can hardly see mine, but now I'm going to go ahead and overlap or uh, trace over them using my Sharpie. And I want to do it two times to make it kind of bold. All right, now we're going to add some extra shapes in these large spaces. So. I might think of adding some rectangles in there. We can also break it up with some lines. Oh, some shapes. shapes there. Now in these shapes we'll start breaking it up with some line and pattern. So we'll think of a pattern. You can use the reference sheet to help you. We'll try repeating got lots of different kinds of lines happening here. So 
Really think about your craftsmanship and take your time. Once you're done filling up your drawing with a variety of lines and patterns, you're ready for color. We're gonna work with watercolors today. So we have our brushes, our watercolor palette, and some water. Um, what I like to do is work with one color at a time. So if I come over here and pick up some blue, try not to give your brush a bad hair day. If you need to add more water, add more water. I try not to use too much because I don't want my paint slopping into all the other areas. Pick up some more. Now I'm going to find another spot to work on my painting. Same color. And this is going to help show unity. Now I've given you a couple different brushes. So if this brush is too, sm oh, too large for your area, you may want to think about grabbing your smaller brush. So I've gone here, here, and here. I think one more spot I can go is right down here. So I think I'll alternate the colors on this one. All right, I think I'm gonna move to a different color, so I'll clean my brush. And maybe I'll go to yellow. You don't need to use all the colors in your paint palette. If you want to limit your colors to um, three or four, that's a good idea to create unity in your painting. Spin, the darker it will be all the way to the edges All right, I'm gonna continue working and I'll show you the complete one. All right, now that mine is finished, I have used a lot of lines, different lines, straight lines, wavy, zigzag, and I've created a lot of different patterns and added some color to my design. <laughs> 